Simon and Ezra are our two autistic boys. There are two youngest and they share a room together. There's a pretty big age gap of four years because Simon is three and Ezra is seven. Ezra is nonverbal and communicates through an iPad. They both have sensory issues, they both have anxiety, and a lot of times they don't like the noises that the other one makes. But every once in a while, they not only tolerate each other, but they show affection and even share their toys. Here are some of those heartwarming moments. Simon. Simon. Can you give Ezra a little kiss? What do you think about your brother Ezra? If you know an autistic person who is affectionate in a unique way, please put it in the comments. <laughs> is that, you don't like that juice? Go give Ezra a kiss. Go give Simon, what do you think about your brother Ezra? Oh, that's so nice. You just give Ezra a little kiss, huh? Love your brother. Usually, Ezra does not share his beloved cords with anyone, but in this video, he patiently waits as Simon plays with his red cord. He takes Adam's hand and puts it towards the red cord, indicating that he wants his dad to get it back for him, which honestly is a pretty patient way to get his toy back. Nom nom! Nom nom! Yeah, that's a nom nom strawberry cord. Ezra, are you being so nice and sharing with Simon with your cords? Yeah? That's so nice of you to share, huh? Remember, if you have an autistic child, you're in good company. Count to 40. Okay. What do you want? Yeah. You want this? Yeah, you want daddy to give that back to you. Huh? What? What do you want? Oh, you want the other cord too? You want the red one that he has? There you go. Now you got it. Now you got them all back. Wander? Uh -huh. Wander, num num. One time, Ezra actually locked up his older brother Benson in his own safety bed. You can see that video here. And our mini vlog playlist is here. <laughs>